shoot. So first off, um, over in this corner, we do have all of the KT Clean and Cozy, um, and this is where I put a ton of it. So this is like a burrowing area. There is a, I think this is a willow ball. Um, this is a reptile log to just dig under. There is a tunnel that's hidden under here. That is just held up by two bendable bridges, so hopefully that works out okay. Um, and then underneath, or underneath, beside, um, we have some stones here for different textures and some little itty bitty stones here just for kind of like a decoration. There is a loofah chew here, but he probably won't touch that because most hamsters don't like loofah. We have his giant woden wheel. This is the 11 inch and then here is just a, I think this is a seagrass tunnel along with some wooden chews and a toilet paper tube. And then we have this really pretty white dish which I filled with some play sand and then there is some more of these rocks. I don't know, maybe he wants to dig in that. The bedding that I'm using for the base over on this side is just aspen wood shavings. Um, I've never tried this one in particular. It is a little bit finer pieces so hopefully that works out okay. Um, over here we do have a variety of chews that came in that little package I opened up. And then I just have the rosewood bridge over here and the side also has the KT clean and cozy since his house is over here. There is a barbell. Um, this is a litter box that I recently just got from PetSmart. It's really high which I like because Little Bear is a really high peer and he'll pee over the side so hopefully that prevents that. Then there's just a bendable bridge along with his wooden house and then Little Bear is inside his dish. I also want to show you guys these because these are really cool and I know anybody who really likes doing cage seams is going to really enjoy this company. So this is Furnishables and these are static clean cling stickers for your cages. Um, and of course it has to be an aquarium type cage or a plastic cage because these won't stick otherwise. But these are really cute and creative and basically they are static clings um, and they have different themes and things like that and they're for your hamster cage. They are really super simple to attach to the cage. It's basically like any type of static cling sticker. You peel it off of the little paper backing and then you apply it to the cage and it sticks really well. And you can also remove it when you're done with it and put it back onto the paper plastic and it will be okay. 
So I've just um, applied some of the clings to the tank because I think it's super adorable. This is the camping theme. There is plenty of other themes and I will leave their link to their website in the description bar so you guys can go check those out because I really think that people who enjoy doing custom themes for their hamsters will really enjoy these.